Finally, after demonetization, India will be great again. No, dude. Wait, what? Okay. This is Hanuman Reddy tuning in for TCN. Lift off. An announcement was made by the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi that the use of 500,000 rupee notes would be invalid and new currency would be issued. This brought mild chaos and disarray in the public, which makes us wonder what is demonetization and what are its effects? Demonetization is an act of changing the currency unit or stripping its status as a legal tender. There are many reasons for why one country would choose to demonetize. The Indian government allegedly did this to remove counterfeit currency and stop terrorism funding. But that's not just it. Demonetization also helps with decreasing corruption, removing black money from the market, decrease in hawala operations and the most important advantage is to discard the Indian cash economy. India is considered one of the biggest cash economies in the world. When we look at this graph created by Bloomberg, India ranks second. But why is cash economy bad? Mainly because there is no way to track the transactions made in cash, which makes tax evasions easier. Also, in a banking-rich economy, there is a scope of reinvestment opportunities through loans and investment. Some instances point towards inequality. And finally, your currency won't be heavily affected due to inflation. Now obviously, if there are many pros, there will be cons too. This demonetization has caused a lot of inconvenience where people had to stand in huge lines for hours during work time only to exchange 4,000 rupees per week. And also, due to shortage of currency in our cash-dependent society, there might be a short-term inflation. But the biggest failure of this demonetization is that there were multiple instances where various government departments caught people with the new 2,000 rupee notes in huge amounts, the amount they shouldn't legally possess. Almost every country has gone through this process once or twice. Since India is a cash-rich economy, the scale of amount involved is far higher. According to an article published by Investopedia, in 2015, the Zimbabwe government demonetized the Zimbabwe dollar to combat the country's hyperinflation. The whole process took three months to complete. Another famous example of demonetization is when the nations of European Monetary Union adopted the Euro in 2002. However, in this situation, the old national currencies remained convertible for a while. At the end, if you ask me whether demonetization is good or bad, in a simple situation, yes, definitely good. But India is no simple country. Everything depends on implementation of the whole demonetization process and the Indian government taking a step forward with smooth currency exchange. If you like what you just saw and want us to make more videos like this, please share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.